Okay, today I'm going to demonstrate how to use the SQ26H1 hydrophone system. Now we're doing it here in a marina in Seattle. Okay, so when you get your hydrophone system, it's going to come in a box that fits the case. Comes in this protective case, waterproof case. Okay. And when you open it up, you will find inside the hydrophone. speaker. It's a waterproof speaker. A cable that connects the speaker to the recording device. And this is the recording device. This is the new Zoom H1N recorder, digital recorder. It has a frequency response that goes to twice as high as human hearing. There's also then this little USB uh, 12 volt to USB power adapter that can be used to both power the recorder if you run out of AAA batteries the recorder takes two AAA batteries um, or you can use it also to power the or to charge the speaker through this cable you can always use it to charge this which is the Bluetooth transmitter and this transmitter is an optional some people many many customers like to have this um, so you can separate the speaker by up to 10 meters from the recording device. Okay. And then finally, the most important part, is the hydrophone. So here's the hydrophone, the SQ26-08 hydrophone. Take the recorder. All you have to do is turn it on and it's already monitoring the sounds. So the first thing to do is to take the hydrophone Plug it into the line input, like that. And then if you have headphones, your own headphones, you can plug headphones directly into the headphone or line output. We'll be using the speaker that comes with the system. So you connect one end of the cable to the line output. The other end goes into the audio input of the speaker. The speaker has to be turned on. Push the button. Power on. Okay. And then we turn the volume up on the speaker. Okay, so we've connected the speaker to the recorder and the recorder, the recorder to the hydrophone. So all you have to do is turn on the recorder. And you'll see now, oops, I'm recording. But even without recording. Testing one, two, three. Testing one, two, three. You can see that I can just talk into the SQ26 hydrophone and you can hear it through the speaker. So this is how you know if it's working. You never want to tap on the hydrophone because when you tap on it, even if it's not working, sometimes you get an artificial signal. In, so you, what you can do is gently scrape a nail. But it's actually much more pleasant to actually talk into the hydrophone. You actually want to cup, cup the hydrophone with your hand and talk into it like this. And then you can hear it in the speaker. So now we're going to put the hydrophone in the water. sounds. I'm going to increase the gain here. That's with this dial here. I can turn the gain up a little bit. There we go. Turn it up to eight in this case. Okay. And now if you hear some sounds you think are interesting, like those crackling sounds, if you can hear them, I push the record button and now I have this set for a five second delay, which is optional. Now we're recording the, the underwater sounds.
All that crackling sound is actually life in the marina. It's bivalves, worms. Oh, and here comes a boat. You can hear it. So there's a sound. Even though we don't see the boat anywhere, you can hear it. I should show you then the way also to use the Bluetooth if you want. So instead of directly connecting the recorder to the speaker, we can connect this little Bluetooth transmitter. This allows us to move the speaker much further away. This comes with an eight foot cable, but if we use this, then we can move it up to 30 feet away. So that connector goes in there. The other one then goes And then we have to turn on the transmitter. You'll see the blue light come on if I press and hold. Blue light blinks. Okay. Make sure that your cable is disconnected from the back. And now, seal the, the connectors up again, connector section. Now this speaker is water, completely waterproof. And now we turn the speaker back on. And press the button here, the, the two arrows. Pairing speakers. Bluetooth connected. And there we have it. And now we can move this further away. So when you're done, you want to turn off the recorder. Okay, and that's done by sliding this switch down here. And it'll say goodbye. And then you bring the hydrophone up out of the water. When you bring your hydrophone up, you want to rinse it with fresh water. And you get the seawater off of it. So we'll rinse the hydrophone. And then dry the hydrophone off, make sure it's thoroughly dry, and pack everything back up in its case.